Welcome back to Boss Talk Radio. I'm back with special guest, Miss Portia Ferguson. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. I'm loving the new look. I know you look so Thank pretty. You. Yeah, I'm trying to you get my so natural good. look on. Yeah, you did. You're rocking it. You look Thank good. You. That's a good so summer pretty. look. Thank you. I think so too. I was like, let me change it up. You know. Yeah. You did good. Well, how is everything going? You on the? You got a lot going on. She on the yeah, move. Yeah. She on the move. Well, everything is going good. I can't lie. Like. I'm really, really excited. My episode's going to air on the Have and Have Nots, y'all. So, first of all, tell everybody where they can tune in to watch the Have and Have Nots. Well, they can tune in this summer, June 21st. And that's when they can see me on the Have and Have Nots. I will be playing the role of Xena. And Mm -hmm. y'all just be on the lookout for that. What's What station? On On, on network. What kind of character is Xena on the show? I can't talk about it. You can't talk about it. So, on network on what nights? On Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights, what time? At 9 o'clock. Oh, I'm going to be in here. But I catch it on. They'll probably run it back. Do they run it back? Yeah, they run, they run back the episodes. They do. They you do can record it, it and just watch yeah. it. Yeah, I better catch it. Tuesday yeah. nights, 9 o'clock. Y'all hear that? Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock on mm-hmm. channel. Have it, have not. Zena. Thank you. Yes. But this is your second season, third season? This is my first season on there. I won't be hitting, um, I won't be hitting it again until the season after this one. Well, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. How is it working with Tyler Perry? Or the- Everybody asks it. I know. Um, it's, it's really good. I must admit, it is. It is. Tyler is, is a very good person. I will say that. He's a very, very great person to work for. He gets you in and gets you out. He's straight to it. He's straight to the is. point. You know he's a Virgo. That's why I love is him. He, I know, he a Virgo. Is he hilarious like he is with, like working around him? Is it like Yeah, he left? is hilarious. Do the Medea come out? No. If the Medea don't, don't come out, no. What? It'd be strictly Tyler, Mr. Perry. No. Okay. <laughs> it seemed like that would just see better in that Medea. Like, I know. Medea, yeah, Medea, yeah. Right. And no, it don't come out. It don't come out. Haven't read it to Oprah though yet. I wish you I could. Wait. Yeah, I, I need that. I, I, I want to be Oprah. I know, I know. Oprah, she seems like she be on set all the time, but I ain't read it to her yet. I would like to know. She'd probably be on Greenleaf. You know, Greenleaf is another show she's doing. Oh, yeah. okay. She got a lot of this stuff going on to her network because at yeah. first it was a, ooh. You know, her Suge show, the one that's loosely based on, uh, you know, Suge Avery. Yes. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, they, they doing that in New Orleans. Oh, wow. Yes, is it like a sitcom? Uh-uh. You it's know, like a Color Purple. Yeah. Oh, my God. They I love it. it. It's yeah. one of my favorite movies. I love that mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. So, I got to get into this because, you know, you actually actress. How do you prepare for your roles? Because that's a lot. Like, that's a lot. Well, I get off social media, for one, when I do get on it, on my roles. So, <clears throat> if y'all trying to reach out to me sometimes when I don't be responding real fast, it'd be like I'm preparing for a role. For a role. But... It'd be like, how you get into it? You just get into a method. Most of the time, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I have to channel personal situations just or personal get into character. Yeah, yeah. experiences. Not, not even just from myself, but from people who I encountered in the past. You know, somebody. Because it seems like you have to block everything out yeah, and you learn do. a whole bunch of lines. You can deliver your facial expressions. You have to just kind of put yourself in the character. And I had an experience that I would love to do. It's, it's so different from reality TV. Because reality TV, you just Yeah, you just do. go. That's what I said. I said when I had went to one of the shoots one time. Uh, I think it was on Cutting Idea. Mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all just do this. This is so simple. But with acting, sometimes they give you three pages. So do you have to memorize everything before you go to work? Or do they, help on the do they feed director. you the lines sometimes if you don't know them? No. They don't mm-hmm. feed you the lines. They don't. It's and, it, it ain't on no telephone. No, it's not. And so, sometimes it depends on the casting director. You better not miss up not one word. And they may hand you the script right then and there. And you better know it. You better take a cold read class. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They got to be a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm, it is. Oh, that's great. But first of all, I read your bio. Mm-hmm. You're not new to this. Mm-hmm. So, you see, you're from Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. Yes. Tell me about this. You went to some amazing acting schools. You have been all over the world just perfecting your talent. And I commend Absolutely. you for that because a lot of people don't really take those steps. And you started at a young age to get to where you are. Mm-hmm. So I definitely want to commend you that. But tell the listeners a little bit about your background with your acting. Well, I studied, um, I went to Whitfield High School. And mm-hmm. they were very big into, like, you know, plays and um 
dance performances. I did mm -hmm. that at first. And then when I got into college, I took up theater mm -hmm. at Clay State. And then I studied at Juilliard in mm -hmm. New York, the Ball Group in oh, New York, wow. Second City in Chicago, just like Dwayne Boyd here. Like I like to travel. And in summer, I plan on going to uh, NYU again. You know, just to perfect your craft more. Yeah, you always have That's to good. perfect your craft. If you're not in on set, then you need to be in a class or even right. taking private lessons. You know, sometimes yeah. they always I said I wanted to take me some lessons. Take you some? I think you should. Yeah. First of all, this off the record. <laughs> my, my boss is in the room. But anyway, you know about a BET because I'm trying to get this Tamar job. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we'll talk after. I know, right? The name you put your spot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but you know what? I said I was gonna take this to class. Oh, I want what are some good ones here in Atlanta for people? Do you recommend? Anyone? I say comedy. I say comedy because comedy provides you a good foundation for improv. Because really? it's sometimes when you don't know that script and they want you to hit those like points, those point lines mm -hmm. where you like have to really get the details of the whole part of that dialogue. Mm -hmm. Improv helps you on that. So uh, I think it's the comedy club out here. I think that's what's called. It's um. Off of Seventeenth Street. Oh, the and comedy club there. Yeah, they they really they do classes there, and it's a couple more. I, I heard of Terry Vaughn has one. Yeah, she does. Home. Um, my friend Carl Payne, mm -hmm. he has his here and there. Yeah, Dwayne Boyd. Dwayne Boyd has one, and then I was speaking to Tasha Smith. She comes, I think, twice she a year. One? Yeah, she does one, yes. and I heard a lot of great things about Tasha Smith oh, class. Um, but there's one coming here. Some young lady was on Instagram, and I saw it. Um, I can't remember exactly who she was, but I know it's coming like in August. Mm -hmm. But I know the green room, and like I said, Terry called mm -hmm. Tasha, and then Wendy Raquel. She does some things, but I think she's been so busy with her stuff yeah. that she's working on that I haven't seen. Any she don't person. really come here though. She mainly do hers out in L. A. L. A. Yes, yeah. L. A. and Vegas. Yeah. yeah, she's big in there. I know she came one time here, and I haven't seen her since. Yeah, uh, me neither. And I love me so when I say that's my mini, I can't say mini me, mm -hmm. but my twin. I mm -hmm. tell you, I love that woman. She gives me life. And I you made an that. appearance on the game. Yeah. How that's what that? I was going to say. That what are fun. some of the other shows that people may have seen you in that you Well, did? I know that uh, Free D, I'm in that movie right now. That's in rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay. In uh, theaters right now and even overseas. Oh, and wow. that um, has Edwina Finley in it. And David Hardway, okay. he's in there. And um, I have a lot of things. The game, I did the game with yeah. Cooch. That was fun. That was really fun. Will, um, not Will Packer, Rob Pitts actually yeah. directed the episode. Yeah. And I had met him previously in Dwayne Boyd's class. And he saw me wow. and he was like, come here. And he was like, yeah, he wanted me to like basically be in all the scenes with Pooch Hall and oh, everything. Wow. So I was like, okay, cool, I can do that. And um, after that, everything just started coming. Like I did Fatal Attractions, Homicide Hunters, and then I did this uh, pilot called By Any Means that mm -hmm. Raven Drummer was casting for, and then that's when Raven called me in for Tyler Perry. And that was like I had an hour to get there. They was about to close in an hour, and then she had me like a three-page script and was like you know you got 10 minutes go and, yeah <laughs> so i had to study that real quick and when i studied it she was like oh girl you got it you got it i say clearly you did a good job you on the season so. thank you <laughs> yeah. yeah that's amazing i see you was doing voiceovers mm -hmm. right. that was recently on the i had to sign an nda so i can't really talk about okay. that project okay. yeah so that was um that was a fun, fun project. It uh, actually has a couple of familiar faces that's going to be in it, too. Oh, that's easy to do because it's, you can yeah. actually sit there and read. And Is it easy? Yeah. Or do you have to kind of give emotions and all that while you just sitting, I guess, at a mic? Some yeah. actors are different. When you get the script, sometimes they just read the lines first and then add the emotions. I'm one of the actors that try to add the emotions as I'm reading the script. And it's... it's to me, I feel like you get more familiar with it that way. I can, but the back and forth dialogue is the hardest. I find it more 
easier to, to remember a monologue. Okay. To right. remember like a whole page monologue than to remember because you have to think about your lines in the next their lines. Yeah. Also, you really have to learn two parts, their parts and your mm -hmm. part to know when to go. That's yeah. a lot. Oh my god. Yeah, that is a lot. I never thought about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. me neither. She just I'm gonna take me to I'm gonna tell you too. I'm like, Portia, get to it <laughs> in this class. Turn it up. Get you to it. it. <laughs> Tell me about it. Terry J. Vaughn, she's good. She's but good. I need, I need speech classes too. Some speech classes. And can I be the best? Well, I you mess can take up a word. Class. Ask her. I mess a name, a word, a birthday. <laughs> I mess some stuff up. Keep on talking like it's right. So do the voiceovers help with the, um, like articulating words and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, it okay. does. It does. What because it's mainly mean? voice. Yeah. Well, you can ask voice. Tip Wilson. He he know how to articulate. I tell tip. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's two tips. <laughs> I get the, the that Look, you want to know how to articulate a word. Get, let him show you. Yeah, he he eats me up on my <laughs> Really? He thinks I am the hilarious thing when I talk to him. He was like, girl, <laughs> what did you check. just say? Yeah. But, you know, he could probably teach you if you have someone who, you know, basically yeah, he's very good. know how he's to very yeah. good with speaking. Now, he can turn his off, too. He, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so let's beauty. talk about the beauty that you're you're adventuring off into the beauty world. Mm -hmm. The lashes, yeah, Miss Elena. Thanks. Congratulations. With her beautiful Some face. Ball. Thank you. <laughs> Tough for my lash line. It's called Match Lashes. A mink, 100% mink lash line. Yeah. So what I'm made you get into it? You always been a fan of the beauty, so you wanted to kind of venture off. I did. I like it because I I like you know. Basically, I love women. So it's like, I like, you know. Making women look good. Yeah, making women look good. And it's pretty much money in that field, you it know. Is. So Beauty is like a billion dollar industry. Yeah. That old beauty field, it so. is. And so if I could tap somehow into tap into it and make a woman feel better about herself, then I say. So do you, do you see yourself adding other parts to match? I do. I see myself adding possibly a shirt line to match. You know, okay. yeah, that I'm working on that, you know, and I'm possibly adding accessories. I want to do it all. I want to I want to do it all. Perfume, everything. I see that the lashes are in stores some places. Yeah. So you can tell the people where they can get the lashes now. If yeah. yeah. You can go to Olympia Springs, Georgia to get the lashes at Divine Beauty Supply Store. And you can go to uh, Columbia, Missouri and go to Tootsie Re Wholesale Resale Boutique. Okay. To get the lashes. Yeah. Well, you but get your it website, in, yeah. My website comes out in July. I'm mm -hmm. going to have it ready for you all in July. And I'm going to have um, Match Lash will be at Brown Brothers. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be so at I get to be on the stage at Brown Brothers? Yeah, yeah. On the face, honey. Yeah. 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 Match Lash will be at Brown Brothers. This is in August? Mm -hmm. In August. August, okay. Uh, no, is it September? No, it's the end of August going into September, I think. Ooh, oh my God. Do you plan on adding it to other stores, like other places throughout that yeah, area? I am. I'm okay. working on a Stonecrest uh, Mall, and I'm working on um, a couple of more places in Atlanta. It's a couple of people that I'm talking to now, a couple mm -hmm. of investors that I'm excited about. And I'm, I'm planning on branching out to New York and L.A., hopefully. That's what I was going to ask. Are you going to offer, if someone wanted to carry your lashes, are you offering like wholesale so they can have them in their boutiques or in mm -hmm. stores? Yeah. How would they go about trying to find out, like, getting your lashes in their store? Yeah, they could um, contact me, Vivid uh, DM, um, Porsche Ferguson, or either Facebook as of right now, or okay. at my email address, PorscheFerguson0 at gmail.com. You know, for all. Um, you know, wholesale. I do sell them wholesale. Okay. For all inquiry. Is, is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Inquir inquiries? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but you can find your email addresses in your bio on your Instagram, right? Yes. Yeah. It is. So make sure if you need any information on wholesaling or even just getting her to actually come and probably doing a pop up shop. Yeah, pop up shop. And, and a, you know, like a launch party. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm promoting you. Okay. I know. <laughs> get some PR credits in here. I know, but right? Then, just get her in her email. Yeah. It's not a habit. I can't help it. I do it for myself. Yeah. I know. Just hit me up in my email and I got you. Match your lash is coming soon, though. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't I know, wait. Oh, I know. We had a great time at the shoot. Yeah, yeah did. we did. We had a great time at the shoot because you I know I get nervous. And and everything. Oh, I get nervous. She had her drink. And I <laughs> <laughs> you had her drinking. Yeah. I did. I tried the little song, but you know when I get in front of the camera, I'm trying to make sure I got to figure How out what action is. Are you nervous in front of the camera? She a professional. You don't show so. you. That's a, yeah. I do. She be um, really hard on herself. I was like, Elena, oh, cause she like, how you do that with your eyes? And I'm like, what am I doing? 
And I'm she just like, you just smile with your eyes. She you know, you go in work smile mode. With your eyes. Yeah. You and she don't even know her. it. And I'm just like, Elena, just. I was just like, was, I need to make sure this, I need to make sure that. And I'm just I'm like, a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. So you know, we just overthink because yeah. we're trying to be perfectionate and just trying to get everything oh, together. I know. My sister's a Virgo. <laughs> Some I great, have a question. Great people. Okay. If you had to work with anyone, like who are you excited to work with in the acting world? Like mm. male and female. Mm. Male, I will definitely want to work with uh, Denzel Washington. No, Denzel Washington and female wise, I would love to work with Angela Bassett. Oh, Those wow, that's a, great, that's a good mm, one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I would love that's to work too with great. them. When well, you're dancing that's on the right track, look. you got a lot of things going on at one time. I know. And you're young. You're so young. So that's you what everybody right say. And I'm just like, uh, no, you are young. Like, you think so? Yes, girl, you got so much to look forward to. You're doing Thank so much you. so early. I feel like you're on a great path of working yeah. hard. Get educated, doing it the right way, like you taking the stairs. So thank you, and you thank becoming you. a businesswoman at, at the, the same, same time, time, which is great. Cause some mm -hmm. people put in years and years at acting, and, and then do the business. All the eggs in one bag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Kinda, yeah. And that's building you a foundation yeah. already, so that's good. It's and inspiring. I produce y'all. I did call the space that come out to oh, iTunes June really? 14th. Yes, yes, yes. I produced that. Uh, this is the uh, and I co -wrote, I co wrote it, and this is the writer and creator right there. He did. It. Tell us a little bit about it. Can you speak on it? Like what yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, it's like kind of sort of a love story slash sci fi film. And so, you know, basically closet space is somewhere where people like, you know how people say they got skeletons in their closet. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, somebody actually does have skeletons in their closet in the movie. It's very like corky kind of sort of. Okay. It's kind of a comedy. And it's like you got people hiding in the closet, hiding money, hiding women, hiding everything. Oh, you know, they so just where can they out. find, like where can they watch it at? iTunes. On, I, um, as far as right now, June 14th, then we're going to do uh, Walmart. And we're doing video on demand for right now. For that's this. good. It is. Yeah. That is because everything great. is online. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, that's so we're doing cool. Walmart, we're doing Amazon, we're doing Hulu, we're doing all that. Ah, that's, that's great. Well, cool. make sure you tell all the listeners mm -hmm. how they reach you on social media. And if you have any questions for Ms. Portia Ferguson, the call in number is 931 for Boss T. Call in. I know a lot of people was hitting me like, oh, she's great. I love her. I'm a oh, fan. Thank Get you. Get me up in thank DM. And some well, of the yeah, questions that I actually asked you was questions that people have sent me. Because I do like for people to send me questions. Mm -hmm. But the phone lines is open if you want to speak to her. But I want to make sure you give them your social media. I can yeah, yeah. follow you. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Portia Ferguson. Twitter at Portia Yvonne. And Facebook at Portia Ferguson. I don't have a Snapchat yet. I'm gonna get one. You I'm need to get one. one. You better get on that. <sighs> oh, and, and so Periscope. See what's going Periscope. She made me get on that. Yes. And she addicted to Snapchat. How does that even work? Stay off it. Once you find out, it's addictive. I'm it is. You. Yes. See, I, I I dreaded getting on Instagram for the longest, and now I can't get off Instagram. It, well, Snapchat. You, you gonna, gonna be Instagram the same way. Yeah. You know, really? You know, yes. Snapchat, you gonna be good. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. I got one more question. What would you tell inspiring people who want to get into the acting world? Like, what mm -hmm. kind of advice would you give them? I would tell them don't um don't settle for anything. Don't, you know, if the, if you feel like you're worth so much more, then stick to your guns. Because when I stuck to my guns, that's when good things start happening to me. And don't ever let your guard down. And just keep, just stay positive. Because in the acting world, you don't get picked sometimes for just like the slightest thing. Your, your, uh, your hair, your skin tone, your... Just just because you look like somebody's ex-wife and they don't want to want oh, you on oh, set. Oh, just wow. like the simplest thing. And yeah. it's just like, just stay positive, stay grounded, and just network. Network, 